ever had, ever. Stick it in the water. Coolest thing ever. Got one. To the Spanish. Why don't y'all catch anything up here? Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna have, we are on our way. We're gonna start adding a little different content to the channel. We're, you know, instead of just riding, you know, working on the X3, four wheeler, stuff like that. We are an outdoors channel, so the we're gonna we're actually going to pick up a new toy right now, and we're gonna you know start doing a lot more fishing stuff like that. We do a lot of bass fishing. We used to do a lot of bass fishing, crappy fishing, stuff like that. But now we're actually picking up a new center console boat that. We're going to do, start doing some inlet fishing, some saltwater fishing, and we're actually going to hit the ocean and go off shore a little ways, not too bad far. So we are headed to um, Get Wet Marine in Greensboro, North Carolina. We are picking up our new C-Pro DLX, or 239 DLX Deep V. We're excited. Got the kids in the back. They're excited. Yay, buddy. <laughs> um, so we're all going to pick it up. I'll do a kind of a walkthrough also. Um, to kind of join this video when we get it back home and hopefully you guys you know if you watch the channel you're not just about x3 or can am and four wheelers and stuff like that you enjoy the outdoors also so we're going to try to get into the fishing the saltwater fishing we're not very familiar with it we've done a little bit with friends but um hopefully we can get better at it good at it and we'll have a lot of fun bring some pretty cool content hopefully so stay tuned for the walkthrough and we'll see you in just a little bit all right i'm going to do a quick overview now that we have got the boat home we've actually been out on the boat several times taking to the beach and everything but i want to do a quick overview for those of you that may be kind of in the market or thinking about looking for a new center console and you may be in this size category um again this is a c pro 239 dlx this is a deeper um hauled center center console it's not the bay boat it's a little bit deeper so um we've actually already taken it out in the ocean it was kind of rough did really good so and i'm going to do an overview or actually a kind of review after we hit maybe our 20 hours we're right at that so i'll do a review later but i want to kind of do an overview of the boat um we custom ordered this so we ordered it back at the end of january and we got it the week before memorial day so center consoles are a lot like side by sides you kind of get them plain jane and then you add accessories so everything's extra pretty much the dlx package does give you a few extra things that are not just stock or fact you know from the sport gives you a few extra things first of all i'm going to start up front what i did is i did get the mincota tarova i'm going to get an ulterra but they didn't have the ulterra in stock he's going to trade it out for me this has got a 72 inch shaft on it so it'll reach down to the waters um it did come out of the water a few times when it was kind of rough but not bad and you could hear it so i added just a little mount on here kind of hooked it to that i uh ram mount just to keep this when i tow it down the road it kind of bounces pretty good so that secures it a little better they put this is your front anchor locker which i will open this um there's your front anchor it's a 13 pound anchor i put in there fits in there perfectly with all your rope and chain that goes down in below and when they put the trolling motor on i think the cleat without the trolling motor is in the front so they put the front two cleats as you can see on the right and left side which is great and it gives you a pretty good bit of bow space up top to kind of stand if you're you know really looking for fish and stuff um i did get the table this actually pops up comes up and then that screws into the floor there and makes a table that you can kind of set your drinks on and also the i've had the cushions up but there's a cushion that goes on top of that cushion that goes on top of there there and a small cushion that goes on top of this i also got the the backrests these you can remove and then you've got a cup holder or a rod holder there if you don't want to use those you can use them for a rod holder or a cup holder um but i kind of like that it gives you longer kind of lounge area 
and then this flips up for different seating positions if you don't want to use this or if you do use this it kind of gives you a little extra back stuff there so um that's the way this comes of course factory and there's cushions i just got the cushions out and drying so um that's the front you've got two large storage spots under here everything's drained which is nice um everything has got lights in it the storage the nice thing it's it's finished gel coat i really like that i looked at a couple other boats that some of their stuff was not finished gel coat that's kind of why another reason i went with c pro and being local to me um, both sides are the same size that's where your table leg is going to go and again i said they're finished you know they're they're kind of finished on the inside and everything so that's your two large compartments there and here's your end floor this is actually a fish box um on the 239 it's not macerated but it does have a drain and it's got a separate bilge for this fish box i have fenders and i've got actually they're really big fenders so they fit down in there good four of them and i've put a couple of our ski life jackets down in there and our other life jackets i've just taken out because i'm going to wash the boat good because we just came back from the beach your front seat is stationary it doesn't move doesn't open but the console kind of opens from the side so the nice thing about the 239 i believe it has an eight foot 10 beam so it's really wide it is a really big boat to be 24 feet feels close to the same as the 26 footer the 259 just you know i think you lose a little bit of room in the back but the front's about the same size maybe a hair wider but nice thing about here you can walk without having to turn sideways plenty of plenty of room in between here we did get the upgraded stereo system gives you two extra speakers here the, the standard comes with four in the t-top two in the front two in the back but we did upgrade to the Audison. I think they went away away from wet sounds and went back or went to Audison audio. I'm not sure why, but and it has also has the 10 inch subwoofer in the console with the amp built in. This thing jams. I mean, it it sounds awesome. Well worth the money to get the upgraded stereo. Um, also added a couple extra rod holders. If you're thinking about ordering the boat, these are, I ordered just two extra rod holders. The last rod holder they're going to have on the sides will be here and here. I ordered two, so one's going to be on this side and one's on the other. I wish I'd have went ahead and did two more maybe for up here when we do some crappy fishing or actually maybe even four more, two on each side. But that can always be done after the fact for the at the dealer. I'm not going to do it, but but anyway so we move back this way i did get the bolstered pads all the way around of course that's an option i mean these the dlx i think does give you the nicer leaning post it gives you the flip up bolsters and the armrests on the leaning, leaning post and with the dlx i think comes the nicer i think it's a g schmidt seat with the ruler on the back pad that's a little bit nicer than the pro or the uh, sport so as far as the console the there's your odyssey uh, bluetooth control it comes with trim tabs in the back your suzuki gauges all of your your auxiliary switches your live well your bilges there the nice thing about the dlx it gives you the nss 12 simrad this thing's top of the line i mean it's about as good as you can get as far as um, electronics and it gives you the black display behind it so you can add another one or i may just do a suction cup mount on a tablet for for nav and then use this mainly for my depth so or in a combination um gives you the compass and the nice waterproof box which is cool that you can put your phones and everything in and it's got your two usb charging ports for your cell phone the nice thing about this console we pile all kinds of crap in there hats shirts phones it's deep it's a lot of room here i do believe they went to the after 2022 i think they're going to enclose this um like the 259 i'm not sure that's what i was told so We'll see as far as that can concern. Now the top, I did get the VHF, of course, as an option, has a nice big storage compartment up top, which is where I pile a bunch of stuff to. It's got the trolling motor remote. Um, 
the Altera and the Tarova have the spot locks built in GPS. It's freaking awesome. Um, well worth the money. I can deploy the trolling motor. Well, I get my son to do it now until I get the Altera that's got power. And I can hit spot lock when we find a location and then it'll keep us there in that one spot like an anchor. Um, so it's kind of like an anchor as far as that's concerned. Now, um, the floor pad, that was extra, I believe also. It has the battery disconnect switch right there that's kind of in a in a the sealed box this thing is really comfortable your two cup holders nice little storage you know place to put you've got your grab hold handles there and your t-top lights your spreader lights your map lights and your accessory switch because i may add a light bar up here down the road when you turn your lights on the cool thing about the t-top lights this c pro emblem lights up blue which is awesome it matches the blue t-top lights and everything and then you can turn your courtesy lights on and under your gunnel you've got lights the blue lights and in the speakers can have blue lights also so this thing really is lit up at night when you turn everything on now your it's center console storage is huge it's deep the bad part is i did do the trolling motor i did the 36 volt so there's my three deep cycle batteries and the triple bank charger there of course the speaker decided to not do a head which we can use a bucket worst case in the winter time or something like that when we're out so wanted mainly the room so it's still a lot of room we usually pile you know all the beach bags and bags and storage and this is where i kind of keep the cushions when it's stored there's your amp like i said all this is finished it looks really nice and neat there's no wires hanging anywhere it's just not like a curtain on some boats you've got storage that'll flip down you can get behind all the controls up here it's kind of got like a little zip uh, snap on thing for your that's where you're behind your electronics where you can add and change and all that good stuff um it has lights in here has the freshwater sink i believe it's a 20 gallon freshwater tank the mirror and again, I said lights and everything, so this is a huge area storage to put all your stuff. Or if you want to get the head and you get the pump out head as an option or everything like that. So um, really like that huge area for storage. Now on the lean post, I did get the, the kind of the bait and tackle trays. It comes with two on each side trays that you can add your, you know, your little Plano boxes. It actually comes with those two Plano boxes. And then the center kind of gives you some storage. We've got pliers and then your pliers will fit here and your hooks and stuff like that, which is really cool. And then I got the cooler slide. The cooler slide is fantastic. I'm gonna get a little bit smaller cooler. This is a 73 quart cooler that we already had. I'm probably, it's supposed to fit a 65 Yeti or Arctic perfectly. So um, you just kind of push that, cooler slides out slide it back in she's locked um good amount of room back here with the seat up good fishing you know mainly we leave the seat up unless we're we have several people in the boat and we're going to ride somewhere so your this is where your your two your your two batteries your cranking battery and your accessory battery is all your pumps and bilges are down there your air mar um, transducer and that's the power steering for the motor power steering pump so everything the c-star all your stuff's easy to get to and this is even finished so all your gel coats nice and finished i mean it looks i'm a fan i mean i've i looked at several boats and i think by far c pro you get the most bang for your buck as far as quality to me your everything drains to the back here um nice and neat and it kind of goes overboard and then your your bilges kick in automatically your you've got a big i believe it's a 30 gallon live well clear top live well we did kind of use this for maybe some extra food and stuff we had to hide it it gets really hot in there so you might want to be careful for that but and it's got your raw, raw water wash down right there that's your raw water wash down um, this is another little sink for your fresh water. I've got my hose for my wa raw water in there too. It's like a little sink with a drain and a hose that comes out that is part of your fresh water tank also. And then you've got a back storage, which is a really huge deep storage. I've got the back anchor in there and some other stuff. Just kind of, and it's all drained, um, insulated. So should be good there. We did get the optional ski tow pole. So the kids, we can pull the kids around on the tube and stuff like that. So the rear, you've got your two cup holders on each side. You've got your rod holders. Um, 
rod holders on the actual main part of the boat you're kind of limited you only got you know on each side you have the three or two that it comes with but of course your leaning post you have the rod holders on the back and then your t-top you've got the rod holders and the kingfish holder on the side so that's the antenna for the rc or the vhf there um this is a storage which this is nice this storage of course is drained and everything and it goes way back through there so what i'll probably use this for is mainly fish if we have bait if we go fish live well or live bait we'll have live bait in the um bait tank and then we'll use the fish here when i can put ice on it and stuff like that when we catch so it'll hold a pretty long fish and quite a few fish and it drains and everything also so um this is your pass through the door that flips open and it flips right right in there and you can lock it into place and it's got a magnet that holds it open there's your freshwater fill your tie down cleats your handles getting in that's another reason i really like the ski tow. it helps you get in and out of the boat when you're, when you're climbing the ladder so um you have three cleats on each side two up at the bow here and there um the seat it's stiff to get to use it. You kind of got to do it all at one time. So I'll try to do it while holding the camera. So there's the seat. Nice, big, deep seat. Three people can probably sit there too comfortably. So I'd say three kids or, or two adults. And this is your actual pressurized bait tank there, your or live well. You have to, the switch is behind there to close it off or open up the drain. And, but we mostly leave it closed, so. That way you got plenty of room to walk around and everything like that so as you can see guys this boat it's a good size boat to be or be a 239 so it's a right at a 24 foot boat and 8 foot 10 beam it's got a lot of room we're really happy with it so far extremely did do the 300 suzuki um as i step down here to kind of give you a look at the outside Gotta wash this thing down with some salt gun and everything. I decided to do the 300 Suzuki. Um, kind of 250 is standard, but 300 really, I think 300 is necessary. With seven, eight people in the boat, this boat will do 43 or four miles an hour with everything loaded up, some gas and stuff with seven, eight people. With four of us, I got it up to about 47 with you know three quarters of a tank of gas and everything, which is pretty good the trim tabs um this trailer i believe is an ameritrail if i'm not yeah ameritrail trailer which is nice it has the welded tabs with the retractable buckles highly advise that um i guess it depends on where you buy the boat just ask about ameritrail trailer with the weld on tabs that way you don't have to worry about your straps taking them off putting them on and all that good stuff so um really like it we decided to do we were going to do the whole gray the whole whole gray but decided to do just the white and the gray bottom with the uh, gray on the top i believe it's shark skin so it really turned out great we really like it but this is this boat is a great riding boat so far this boat rides great um, takes a wave keeps you pretty dry unless it's really bad you're going to get some spray it's got quite a bit of bow flare to kind of keep you dry um, the trolling motor bracket that's mounted on there is quick, you know, quick kit disconnect. So I put a, a lock on it so I don't get that just pulls out and you can lift the trolling motor right off. It's heavy, but it is easy to remove. So, um, so far, really happy with the boat. Like I said, I'll do a 20 hour review. That's kind of when the uh, break in oil, I need to get the, the oil changed in the motor just to kind of do the break in. But um, this is a C-Pro 239 DLX. Um, dry weight's pretty low. It's like 30-something hundred pounds. It's probably loaded up. You're about 5,000 pounds pulling down the road. So you can pull it with a full-size SUV, half-ton pickup, or one-ton pickup, which pulls it pretty good, or really good. So um, it's heavy, though. You can definitely feel it, but pulls great anyway guys that is the c pro 239 dlx i do want to give a shout out we're in greensboro so we bought it at get wet marine in colfax 
Um, give a shout out to those guys, dealt with Mike. So if you're in the market, definitely give him a call. Tell him Tim sent you, and they'll take care of you. I mean, the guys were awesome there. So um, again, if this was helpful, we're gonna like I said, we're gonna do a you know a 20 hour review. And I got some fish, a fishing video coming up. We did some trolling for some Spanish, caught several Spanish, kind of our first time out. And I think we're really going to enjoy this. So uh, until next time, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you again.